you didn't already seen the thumbnail, you didn't read that title, right? And now you, when you clicked on that, you here, look, you see I'm here with my nephew. Look, today I'm getting ready to show you guys, excuse me, we getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make. Check it out, we put a little twist on them enchiladas. We finna do breakfast enchiladas. Let's get it. Okay, so look, if you've been following me for a minute, you know the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Okay, so you guys seen all of the ingredients, right? Now would be a good time for us to go ahead and preheat our oven. So we want to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And while he's doing that, I'll go ahead and get the sausage started. Here we have one pound of mild Italian sausage. We'll go ahead and brown this up nicely. Now I'm out here in Vegas. I was planning to stop by and uh, put it all on red, but AB told me he was cooking up some breakfast enchiladas. So I figured I'll pull up and help you out. Most importantly, get a little taste test. Go ahead and just take butter. We're gonna do it the way grandma used to do it. That's the old school the old way. Old school way. Hey, foolproof. You got some Crisco? Oh, that's old school. <laughs> what you know about that, nephew? I had a grandma too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go with that. All right, so AB went ahead and helped me out by adding in one diced onion and a couple jalapenos with the seeds in there. So it's a, got a little bit of a kick to it. The sausage is mild though, so it should balance out pretty nicely, not be too spicy. As always guys, if you don't like it spicy, you can substitute the, uh, the jalapeno with a green bell pepper or something like that for my folks out there that don't want any heat. Okay, so what you see is me and him, obviously, we swapped uh, spots, right? So what we did was we took out a one cup of the sausage. Look, that mix is over there. Now we're getting ready to go ahead and start building this flavor and making that gravy, folks. While he does that, I'm gonna crack 10 eggs into this mixing bowl. And then look, what you can see right here is, look, I'm gonna start adding my flour. You guys been following me for a minute, you know, everything in moderation, right? So I'm just gonna move this back, you know, back and forth. And don't forget, you guys gotta have like the right tool for the job, right? If you can, get yourself some of these square eggs, you know, uh, wooden utensils, they work so great. All right, so I'm just gonna beat these 10 eggs like they stole something, <laughs> and then we'll hit them with the level up. Oh, that's right. And no a little trip. bit of black pepper. Okay, so look, right here, you guys can see, what I did was I cooked some of that flour taste down. That's real, real important, folks. You, want, you don't want it to taste, you know, greedy or nothing like that, right? So once you got it incorporated, you waited about, I guess if you cooked it on a medium heat for, I'm gonna say somewhere right around, I don't know what you say, about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. You can see you don't see no white. It's all incorporated inside of here. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our milk. About three cups of milk. we we'll make a nice Southern style gravy. Yes, sir. Okay, so now you guys can see it like thickens up right in front of your eyes, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of my A seasoning right here. And I wanna tell you guys this, look, there's an A and a B. Check it out, if you do go ahead and grab it, you can put the A and then you can put the B right next to it and then you got yourself your own little AB in your pantry. I like the name too, Level Up sounds good. <laughs> hey, I wonder why he says that. I'm gonna hit that with a little black pepper too. Thank you. Oh man, that looks good. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. We don't want it to get too thick. But this right here, if you guys want to know how to make a good, good gravy, this is it. All right, so to a skillet, we're going to add two tablespoons of melted butter, and then we're going to partially cook 10 eggs that we beat in season. Make sure we get it all out of the mixing bowl here. And you just want to partially scramble it. I'd say maybe a little less than half, because remember, guys, they're going to continue to cook while they're in the oven. Hey, you know what, so one of the things I want to say is, and I preach this all the time is, when you're cooking, you got to get yourself some water, you know what I mean, and then you wash as you go, so it doesn't become a chore, you know, when you, you know, when it's all over with. That's a hell of a pro tip right there. Man. My <laughs> wife would love to hear it. <laughs> so the key to scrambled eggs, guys, not rocket science, but don't overwork it too much. Make sure your, your pan is not too hot, and again, we're just going to partially cook the eggs, enough to roll them up into our tortillas and they'll finish cooking in the oven. 
All right, so this is about where we want to see the eggs. They're partially cooked, not fully cooked, but just about there. They'll finish cooking in the oven. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and break out the mixing bowl that's got the tater tots in there, and we'll start building our filling that's gonna go into tortillas. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add half the cheese. AB's got a little pepper jack there. I got some cheddar. I'm sure you can use whatever cheese you like. Hey, one of the things I can say, like, if you guys, you could just look at the ingredients that we're using, you know, all the way down to the Italian sausage, that's where we got a lot of flavor. We used the level up for the seasoning. Then you got egg, then you got, you know, our cheeses. It's and a the flavor part. Look, say it again, bro. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And the heat from that egg is gonna help this too. That looks good, right? All I need is a little hot sauce. <laughs> Tater tots were cooked, I'd be in there. All right, so the oven's up to temp. We got our casserole dish ready. We're gonna go down with a nice thin layer of this fantastic gravy that AB made. Whew, right down at the bottom. And that's where we'll put our, tor or our tortillas. Right, don't forget, we said enchiladas, folks. Hey, this is just a little bit of a different twist on it. We back to the filling, we got our tortillas. I suggest putting them inside of the oven, I mean inside of your uh, microwave. Give them about 10 to 15 seconds, make them a little bit more pliable, right? Now get yourself a spoon. This, this part- is the fun part. Hey, yeah, I just about to say this is the fun part. And the part is really like self-explanatory, you know? It's time to roll them up. Yeah, <laughs> this is all you gotta do, folks. And I'm looking at that like it only got that one tater tot. So let's go ahead and just hit it like that, right? We just take it, bring it in, roll it, bring it over. Keep it like that. All right now. Right. Then once we have it, we just put them in just like that. All right, so for this size casserole, we can fit 10 tortillas or enchiladas in there. Next, we're gonna top it with that gravy, a little more cheese, pop it in that oven at 350 degrees. All right, guys, so we got the oven preheated at 350 degrees. We got some perfectly rolled tortillas in here. I'm gonna pass you the gravy, let you do the honors. All right, so look, <clears throat> there's no way I can make this sound fancy, nothing like that. It's all about just getting down for the get down, right? So look, got my ladle. We just finna start putting this on here like that, and I'm finna be quiet so you guys can just hear and listen to that music. So for everybody out there spending time with their family, you know, with the holidays. This is perfect. Perfect. Hey, you know how you have a hard time getting everybody up? Put this in the oven. And it feeds the crowd. So we can actually fit, with this recipe, we can do double what you're seeing right here. So right. we're gonna go ahead and top this with a little cheddar. Then I'm coming behind the cheddar with some pepper jack. Hey, I like the fact that you didn't just overdo it with the cheese. You know what I mean? Hey, how many times have I, just like, I'm finna make it super creamy, and then I made a bed of just cheese. All right. Still want to see something, you want to be able to see it kind of bubbling over a little there bit. There you go, there you go. There we go. Okay, so look, this is done. You know you know, you guys want to hit it already, but check it out, we finna go into this oven. You guys know we already at 350 degrees. We finna set a timer for what you say? 30 to 40 minutes. There you go. Or until it's golden brown and beautiful. Okay, so look, you guys have seen it. Listen, my mouth watering. We didn't already sample it, and I don't think we said this enough, man. I don't even know if we said it really in the video. Main thing is, when you guys are cooking, you know, anything, especially when you're making gravy and all of that, you must taste as you go. Always. You gotta make those adjustments. Hey, with that being said, we know this is fire. Let's go, nephew. The moment of truth. Oh, man. I'm glad you didn't over talk it this time. <laughs> Bite, but. Mm. That right there is nice. So nice, you gotta do it twice. Ooh, 
Ooh, nephew. Doesn't get much better than that. Hey, you know what? Look, I'm finna go in here and re-dig here. You go ahead and do you. Well, I appreciate you bringing <laughs> me back out here to Las Vegas. It's my first time coming back to the new spot or coming to the new spot for the first time. Quick reminder, guys, that we do have a cookbook for sale right now. It's Black Friday, and if you use the code Black Friday at checkout, you're gonna get yourself 20% off of the cookbook. So go ahead and grab yourself a copy. Over 90 recipes between me and AB. Pictures included. Make sure you grab one perfect gift for the holidays. If you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here. Check this out. There's a channel out here. Wait a minute. There's two channels out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. With that being said, nephew, I'm out. Peace.